The Minister of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, Frank Tumebaze, while speaking at Hotel Africana in the celebrations to mark the World Food Day, urged government officials and media houses to educate people on health food. So, can we have simplified messaging if we want all the players in the food safety chain to play their role? Simply say, for me to be secure, isn't it? You farmer, don't make your cow within this period when it has been treated. You get it? Maybe milk can pour the milk. Do not slaughter a cow, okay? Within this period of treatment. You are very sure that there is a lot of slaughtering of animals on the festivities, isn't it? Christmas, Eid, uh, Easter, in addition to the day to day slaughtering. But you never hear messages coming out from the Veteran Association that as you approach 24th NSM, in my region, we know 24th NSM is for me. Huh? They even have a local language that uh, the day is not as good as 24th. 24th NSM is not a good book for. Me. So the question is, the people slaughtering, what kind of animals are they slaughtering? So I really appeal to you, can we have this message simplified? Just like one health organization has basic messaging on personal, on, 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 on public health. You have seen pamphlets about this, don't take water like this. There was a professor, Maswa, he had his famous voice on radios. Do not share accommodation with animals. You remember that? It was very famous on the radios. And it will stick to your body. So I really appeal to you that we should amplify these messages. And you can use us, the leaders. You can use the religious leader who has an audience every Sunday. The cultural leader. The minister emphasized the issue of animal husbandry and urged farmers to use it as it is economical. The, the, the thing you need to do is to wake up those people who are there. The mindset is in other things. I don't think the problem is lack of experts, but lack of people who need who identify the work as critical and agree. Do you need, apart from the faith, who else knows the safety of meat and milk apart from the faith? Every district has a DPO, true or false? True. What stops them from going on those radios? to breach food safety standards. Those DPOs, those production coordinators are appointed not by me, nor by my PS, nor by the president. They are appointed by a group called District Service Commission, born from the area. So, simple strategy, you know what I get annoyed? Please get annoyed for the right people. Head of the Foods Rights Alliance, Agnes Chirabo, said that when food spoils, it becomes poisonous to human health. Oko <laughs> Butubange chifotuwa chiteka wonga abantu bagula we mmele nga bata ambula nga gonja nebifibie nkoko. Echifichie nkoko ne gonja siche chidike chizibu. 
Echiri kechi zibuwe bufuna nyi zibuwe bukule mbezo buli mchitu nduwecho. Okuleba nge mbele mbele no mwe tekera tekera ni tu sibuwa kubantu. Esi galanga nyonjo ngate ya mtindo. Sagala maso kafeno busungu tubuteke kugonja nebi fibie nkoko oba ni imi chomo. Obusungu tubuteke kubantu bufuna nyi zibuwe kuleba. Nge mtu mino webiteke buteke buwe kuwe bwa bantu. Wa mtindo elanga bitu ukana no mtindo. Kubanga bantu unga batambula. Abavu waka ungezi. Weta go kuba ako chivalia. No rechi wa kule mbeze. Mubitu mu government ya zebi tundu. Nembi alo vya fenembi tundu ya vila la. Tufubo kula banti. Chifacha tutade wanti ya banti. Wachiri hila mwe mmele. Chibere chifecho. Echitu ukiride kumutindo. All people are encouraged to eat food of good quality to help eliminate diseases caused by poor diet. Alan Gamol, Anselm Ojaru, live at 8. We are interested in knowing the process.